the time has come for me to do this again. I feel like most of you may have seen my face before because of the 24 hour readathon video, or maybe you found me through a 24 hour readathon video. So in today's video, I thought it would be fun to kind of bring this back. This used to be a monthly video that I did on my channel, but they caused me a lot of mental anguish. So I decided to start spacing them out a little bit. So we have a little bit of a treat here for you guys today. So let's go ahead and get on into this video. Oh my gosh, I think it's February is the last time that I've done this video, which used to be like a monthly video that I did on my channel was my 24 hour readathon. And now I've seen circulating around people doing the 24 hour readathons and they kind of split it into like 12 hour increments. Right now it is 11 17 AM on Sunday, June 18th. And basically I'm going to read from whenever I start the timer to tomorrow at whatever time that is hi guys editing desks here and with a little quick interjection so this part's a little bit confusing because at first i was going to do this video as a like 24 hours straight but then i couldn't do it and then i was like yeah this is not going to be good for like my mental health so then i ended up doing it how i was saying in the 12 hour increments so it's going to be a little confusing because i'm going to say it like i'm reading for 24 hours straight but just know i ended up reading in 12 hour increments and split it up between two days so sorry for the confusion sorry that i'm weak-minded and couldn't do 24 hours straight onto the video and i already have a range of books that i want to choose from so i'll show you guys those really quick first of all we have vengeful this is the second book to vicious and i really liked vicious when i read it this month then we have done and dusted because i've been hearing so much about this love theoretically by ellie hazelwood i have this has been one of my most anticipated releases for 2023 so i'm so excited i think we're gonna start with either this one or i want to start with reckless because this is also another one that i'm so excited for and then also we have the last word by taylor adams hey guys just dropping in to thank the sponsor of today's video which is none other than water drop listen i've talked about water drop before on my channel i really really love them so i'm very excited to tell you guys about them again today that is the water bottle that i'm holding right now look this aesthetic frosted glass i'm, I'm obsessed with it right now i actually have some water drop that i'm drinking right now look just just to show you guys So let's talk about water drop a little bit. Currently in my bottle, I am drinking the micro drink, the little love one, which I actually really like. It's very fruity and very refreshing. I have a few different flavors in that one. I really enjoy the micro drink, but also I like the micro light specifically. I think I have the blueberry and the grapefruit one that I like to drink after a workout to replenish and hydrate myself after a very intensive two hour workout that I do in the mornings. Water drop is perfect for those of you who want to drink more water, but you need a little bit of something extra to help you along the way. There are so many different flavorings that you can choose from. Like I said, I love the micro drink and the micro light ones. There's micro energy to give you a little bit more energy. There's micro teas. The possibilities are quite literally endless and it is perfect for those of you who are looking to up your water intake. Plus, they're gluten-free and vegan. If you guys are interested in water drop, then you guys can actually visit the link down in my description and you guys can use the code DESTINY15 in all caps. I really love water drop and I really recommend it to you guys, especially for those of you who are looking to up your water intake. And they also have aesthetic drinkware, which is just also a plus because I don't know if anybody else is like this, but I love a good water bottle. Thank you so much to water drop for sponsoring today's video. And thank you for keeping me hydrated, especially during these 24 hour readathons. So let's get back to it. So right now it's 1121 and we are going to start. So basically what I do is I start a timer. We're going to start a timer for 23 hours, 59 minutes, and 59 seconds. So I'm going to sit down and then we're going to start this. We have all of the essential. This is how serious I am about this. Okay, on the prologue, and we're starting. We're talking about particles and stuff. I have no clue what any of this means, but I'm just vibing. Photon squeezy. <laughs> Update time. It is. Where's my phone? It is 1:06 right now, and I have 22 hours and 19 minutes left. So it's been an hour and 
Oh, well, it's almost been two hours. I'm not good at math. I'm on chapter 12, page 161. I think I've read like, I'm almost halfway through this book right now. And I have a few thoughts in a little speedy manner. I overall am loving, loving this book. It is genuinely my favorite book of hers, 100%. And the thing is, is that it's weird though, because with this book, I feel that she's focusing a whole lot more on like the actual like STEM aspect, like talking a lot more about sciences and stuff, which gets a little confusing. It makes me feel like when your friend is talking to you about something that you have like absolutely no knowledge in, like you don't know like what they're ranting about, but you're being a good friend and you're listening attentively to what they're saying and trying to like put the pieces together of what any of this stuff means, but you're still enjoying it because you're talking to your friend and they're saying something they're passionate about and you enjoy that. That's how it feels reading this book. Like I know zero about what she's talking about, but I'm still loving it and I love the guy in this book. Depends on what route this book takes, but I could even potentially see myself rating this a five stars. Wait, now I can't remember, but there is a little Olive and Adam cameo. I was literally thinking while reading this, I was wondering if she would like do something like that, like where there's a little cameo and there is. <laughs> mm. It's so cute. so great news first book is finished and i have 20 hours and 28 minutes left so it's been we're like 30 minutes shy so about three and a half hours to finish the first book almost 400 pages also in the back she like broke it down by chapter and had taylor swift songs some people pair wine with cheese i pair taylor swift songs with chapters of my book and every single chapter has its own little taylor swift song so you guys can enjoy that for multiple reasons i'm not going to be sharing ratings until the very end of the video so if you want to stick around to see what else i read and my ratings and everything like that so while i do this challenge i want to be as authentic to the challenge as possible and not sit and like do reviews i want to do like little thoughts and then at the end after the challenge is over sit and do reviews i did enjoy this and you'll just have to wait oh i also am doing that because sometimes when i write a book like directly after and i find that that's not actually how i feel about it we have about two two hours left i wish <laughs> Anyway, I have decided it's going to be Reckless, which is the fourth book in the Chestnut Spring series, but I am going to be reading it on my Kindle because these books are like not floppy and I love having physical copy, but I've read every single Chestnut Spring series book on my Kindle. So I feel like, I feel like I owe it. Oh my gosh, I actually did the cover. It's never done that before for me. Chapter one, we're starting this with 20 hours and 25 minutes left. Okay. Have 17 hours 52 minutes left right now i'm 60 percent through what am i reading reckless is that what it's called reckless by lc silver and i'm having a great time i'm liking it a lot i love the chestnut spring series it's like a five star series all in all for me and i'm really liking winter's redemption arc and getting to know her better and i've always loved theo and those are all the thoughts that you guys are getting those are all of them drop everything now 16 hours and 56 minutes left and i just finished reckless by lc silver and again i already told you guys i'm saving all of the reviews until the end because i'm just annoyed i will say that i did really enjoy this book two books down we have 16 hours and 56 minutes left i do want to say that this challenge is a lot easier when you're actually enjoying the books that you're reading what a concept so we have vengeful done dusted and the last word i will tell you guys that i okay nope just go ahead and do it right next to the camera babe do want to save the last word until it gets dark outside because i am a psychopath that loves to read thrillers at night i'm gonna start reading done and dusted which i'm pretty sure let me check i think this is on kindle unlimited okay oh it is i've seen glowing reviews for this so i'm very 
excited 974 reviews and this book just came out that's not bad at all okay so we're starting the third book of today's video at 16 hours and 53 minutes left how many hours is that i don't know i'm not doing that I have 13 hours and 36 minutes left. We are almost halfway through this right now and I have read three books as I just finished. Done and dusted. And all I will say about this book for a review is that the cover is the best part of this book. People are lighting off fireworks and Charlie hates fireworks so she's shaking. Well. I am about to turn the fan on because she's getting herself all worked up. But I think the fourth book that we're starting for this video is going to be The Last Word by Taylor Adams. Let's see if this is good. I hope it's good because when I read No Exit by her, it was like one of my favorite thrillers. So I'm really hoping that I like it. Oh, we're getting tired. We're getting tired. Book number four. Why is this so relatable? The end. She has never been so grateful to see those two words on her paper white screen. <laughs> We're still freaking out over the fireworks. Oh, oh, okay. I don't know if y'all just saw that, but she just knocked the book out of my hands. You're more important anyway. We had to move the party downstairs because something about upstairs is making Charlie very uneasy. But it's like 10 p.m. right now. We have the ghost sour patch blue raspberry. I really want to try the Swedish fish one. I didn't know there was a Swedish fish one until the other day. Literally tastes like a, a blue sour patch kit just liquefied. Time to keep reading. I just want to say this now, I hate in thrillers or anything like that when the author puts in a dog because now I'm going to spend this whole entire book stressing on if they're going to literally murk this dog. I'm halfway through the challenge right now. For some reason, it feels a lot longer. Oh god, I'm drinking. Why did you drink but I'm so tired? Halfway through, I've read three books and I'm like 20-ish percent through this one. I don't know how I'm feeling right now. I honestly think it's so funny. Like the, the straight beef that our main character has with this author, like just like some of the insults, like she'll just randomly be doing something and she'll think back to like how she read the book and she'll just start going ham, like going ham. I'm like, dang, this is pretty brutal. I also just need to double down and say that. Why, why, why put a dog in a thriller? Also, Charlie update for those of you wondering, she's okay now. It, she like just stopped the shaking and stuff. Like probably 30 minutes ago. And now we're cuddling while I read. Okay, guys, just realized that I somehow was reading like a different, I don't even know how I was reading a different book. Listen, I have decided that I am going to go to bed 3.23 a.m. and I did fall asleep for a little bit earlier so i actually paused the timer at 11 hours 19 minutes and 35 seconds and so we'll pick this back up tomorrow and basically i kind of did the thing where like you read for 12 hours and then i'll read for another 12 hours tomorrow also for a little book update i did not finish the last word by taylor adams i don't know i just wasn't into it so i was trying to find another book to read so now I am reading Until I Get You, which is a dark hockey romance novel. Don't ask me what that means. 
because I don't know. I shall see you guys tomorrow. Oh, nice little surprise. She's like, oh, Tess, you're so annoyed. She's like, Tess, can you shut up and give me kettle? I'll see you guys in the morning. Welcome, welcome back to a new, a new dawn, a new day. So, it is 3.49 p.m. right now. So that means since we're doing another 12 hour little go about, our last little 12 hour stretch, that's the word I was looking for. It means we're gonna get done at around 4 a.m. Funny story, you guys know last night when I was like, hey, yeah, so I think I'm just gonna like split this up into two halves. And I was like, yeah, I'm tired. Like we're just gonna continue doing this tomorrow. I then stayed up until like 6 7 a.m i couldn't pick up a book so i was like okay wait maybe i'll just pick up the book and we'll keep reading no I, I had like no attention span it was just like my anxiety was keeping me up at night that's what it was doing eating me alive but now we're gonna do our other 12 hours i think i'm just gonna continue reading the book that i got like three pages into last night and then we have vengeful which i also don't feel like reading right now so i'm gonna give out give this book a try and i'm already tired because I've already mentally drained myself today. So because of that, we're gonna crack open an energy drink. I've never had a C4 energy drink, but I had to go get gas and I went inside the gas station to find if they had any ghost flavors and they had this C4 strawberry Starburst. Okay, kind of smells like a Starburst a little bit. It definitely doesn't taste why am I doing an energy drink review? The fourth book for this video. 12 hours, here we go. Okay. I think like, um, is this me? I'm an hour and a half almost into this. I don't know, but I am 20% through this book right now and nothing's, nothing's happening. happening. I'm so confused with this book to the point where I'm not necessarily enjoying it because like I said, nothing is happening but also like i want to keep reading because i want to know if something happens or whatever i really i really don't know i really don't know i thought that's what this whole entire book was about but it says i'm on page 80 of 450 and nothing has happened i'll be so honest with y'all <laughs> i love you do not know, know what i just said <laughs> i have eight hours and 55 minutes left so it's been roughly like three hours just past the three hour mark, right? I don't know, I'm not good at math. Arr, we have The Last Word by Taylor Adams. I just don't feel like reading this right now. I think I'm gonna take this off my radar because I just don't feel like reading this right now. Maybe I'll start reading this. Maybe I'll start reading this. Okay, on to book number five. left and I just finished book number five because I read these three the one on the kindle and then the last word so this is the fifth book for today's video and all I have to say is wow wow wasting no time let's move on to the sixth book for today's video I have about six and a half hours a little under six and a half what do you want me to say? Six hours, 28 minutes, 33 seconds left of this challenge. And I have decided to start reading My Dark Romeo. And I started reading it and I decided to start reading it on my Kindle. Because if 
it's on kindle limited i want to just read it on my kindle but also because i opened the book and the font is so small so we're reading this bad boy on the kindle random thoughts that I'm having directly into this book is that the writing is like catching me off guard for some reason my brain is just not commuting this to my knowledge system <laughs> what just talking about how Elon Musk ruined Twitter I just hate I just I don't know I just hate talking about social media in the business of lying to you guys I'm 20% through this is a tough read I don't know if I'm making it through this one this will not help my case. I'm gonna give it a little bit more. If it doesn't start getting good, we're moving on to a different book. It's the next day and it is quite literally daylight outside. So some of you may be like, what's going on? You know, what happened? Last time we talked, it was nighttime. And you would be right that now it's the next day and the 2012, well, the 12 hour time period is up. That means we're at the conclusion of today's video. So let's talk about and do a little wrap up of all the books that I read in today's video. I have them right here. Okay. So first of all, I do want to say that last night I think I got to like 50% or so through My Dark Romeo and then I didn't finish it. <laughs> it, was a, it was a hard read. Technically read five books completely in today's video. So let's talk about them. That's what we're here for. So first of all, the first book that I read in today's video was Love Theoretically by Allie Hazelwood, which I have decided is going to get a 4.75 stars for me. Now some of you may be like, Destiny, why is this not a five stars? Like what wasn't making this book a five stars? And genuinely, I don't really know. It just didn't give me the five star feeling that I know like five star books give, but I was kicking my feet actually i know what it is the ending of the book was a little question mark for me i was so confused if you read the end of this book like everything was going so well and then i was like so confused as to how the book even ended but anyway i was kicking my feet for jack <laughs> it was it was just really good anyway i okay next up i read reckless by lc silver which is the like most recent this just came out this month book in the chestnut spring series and i think i'm giving this a 4.25 stars because it was more than a four but it wasn't quite a four and a half but i still really 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 enjoyed this book i always love to come back to these characters and i really liked the couple in this book i loved the redemption arc for winter i always knew that there was more to her and more to her character and uh, I just, I loved, I loved this book. And then maybe it was a mistake to read Done and Dusted like directly after Reckless, but I don't think so. I am rating this one a three stars. I think that no matter what, like when I read this book, it was always going to be three stars because when I saw the length, I was a little bit like, okay, like whenever I see romance books that are this short, I'm a little bit like, I don't know how much I'll like them just because there's, I don't feel like there's a lot of time with the couple. And I feel like that's exactly my problem with this book. I don't want to say my problem. Because then I feel like it's like, you know, when you got a problem with somebody, like it feels way more aggressive than it is. But the reason that it wasn't higher than the three was because I just feel like we didn't have a lot of time with the couple. Like we kind of get more time spent talking about like how they knew each other in the past and like building upon their relationship now. When it was said like, yeah, they knew each other in the past, but like there wasn't really anything between them in the past, like ever. And... I don't know like we just didn't spend a whole lot of time with them for me to get attached but i had a good time reading it it's just that when i have a good time reading a book but i didn't really get attached to the characters it usually gets a three stars for me and then i read until i find you i think is what that book was called until i find you on Ken on my kindle and i think i ended up giving this book a three stars because it just uh, my thoughts on this book are so complicated because I liked the ending of the book. It was originally going to be like a two or a two and a half, but then I really liked the ending of the book. But when I think about it, this review may even drop like by the time the end of the month comes. I guarantee you it will. I really liked the end, like the epilogue. I really liked the epilogue because I wish they would have been like that the whole entire time where it felt like more of a loving relationship where like, I understand it's a dark romance, but still like in dark romances, you still get where like the guy is like, really you can tell like they really love each other and it didn't feel like that in this book and also just like i was confused that 
what really made this book kind of a little bit like uh, for me was the pacing of this book was so odd like so many things were dragged to filth like dragged out dragged out and i just didn't understand why we were taking so long to get to the freaking point then the last book that i finished for this video is the last word by taylor adam i'm giving this a five stars please please go read this book it was so good and you guys know listen I'm a, I'm a tough raider period like it's very hard i feel to get like a five stars from me this is one of them definitely for a thriller it's the best thriller that i've read in a very long time and especially you guys know like i was saying i'm a tough raider but i'm a tough raider with thrillers and this one it had so much going on there were layers that usually in thrillers i feel like you never get attached to a character because like honestly it's not really about them. It's more about the thrilling aspect than like you really getting an emotional connection with the character, which I feel like more authors should build that emotion with the character for you to like really, really want to root for them. And I never feel like that in books, like in thrillers. I never feel like I'm rooting for the main character, which sounds odd. This book, you build a connection with the main character, which Taylor Adams, I read No Exit. They also did that in their last book where I feel that I feel like they did a really good job like making you really root for the main character and like what they were needing to do in this book and but also there's layers to the main character you're trying to figure out what's going to happen next but also like what happened in the character's past to make her behave the way that she's behaving if there are layers to like people that are in the story can you really trust this person what's going to happen next like the whole entire time that i read this book genuinely i did not know what was going to happen next in the best way possible that's exactly how i want to feel with my thrillers did i guess a few of the plot twists yes but also like I just kind of dissect everything I don't really expect to be surprised. Also, something that I loved about this book was like the different point of views that you get. So you're kind of like in the main, I think it's told from the third person the whole entire time. And you're getting the third person of our main character, Emma. But at the same time, you're getting this other perspective that I feel like is so cool and so interesting. And I just really liked that too. Like I really, really, really loved this book of five stars. And also I had so many points in this book where I was laughing, not because it was bad, but because one, it was extremely self-aware. And I love when books do that in the right way. Like sometimes books try to be self-aware and I'm just a little bit like, okay, you know, we get it. You're trying to be cool. But also it was like the lines were so funny because like when she was talking about how much she hated this book, it just reminded me of me. Like when you really don't like a book and you just can't stop talking about it because you can't believe how bad it was. Like it was just funny. Like little lines in the book were funny. And then yeah, I read, I think I got like 50% through my Dark Romeo, but didn't end up finishing it just because I like wasn't into it. So who knows if I will finish it or not. I don't know, but that is the end of today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that YouTube stuff that you guys know how to do. And maybe next time. Actually, I'm not going to promise that to you guys. I'm not cruel, okay? I will see you guys when I see ya. Peace.